Hey, how's it going out there? My name is Rich, and uh, I've been working in the ski industry a long, long time, and I love to tune skis and boards. Demon United has put out some incredible products to help you do just that. If you're an in-home shop or just want to get a few things to help maintain your edges and your bases and your skis and boards. Um, what we have here, it, first thing I want to is they offer a, a vice set, and it's called the Demon Muzzle. And with this, you have a vise in the middle and two stands on each end, which can um, hold your skis locked in um, while you work on them. You also have a vise of sorts on the side of it, which you can put the ski in sideways. Let me demonstrate. So we have the, the ski like this. We put this in here. We lock down the vise in the middle on the ski. That locks it in and makes it secure so you can go to work on your skis. Undo that. If you want to work on your edges, put it in here. Lock it down. And your ski is secure to work on your edges. So the end ones um, have different positions. You can raise and lower it depending on you know where you clamp it in the middle with the ski. You can also take this vise, put it on an angle, and that's if you put your ski in the edge this way, which we're gonna do right now. So you got that on the vise, it goes up and down. You can take the, the ski here and put it in the vise, like so. and work on, on a vertical 90 degree angle up and down. So, and you also have the other position in this vise to loosen that wing nut and both sides for it to do anything. So, yeah, you can put it on an angle, which a lot of, some people prefer uh, working on their ski edge on an angle like this. It's just more comfortable to them. I prefer the vertical, but it's all personal preference. But the Demon's awesome because they give you a few different options in their vice. They make it very super variable. Okay, Demon also offers another product of uh, sorts for more, more for snowboards. And before I move on to that, let's look at the uh, these that come with it also. These are some adapters. So if you get this vice set, the muzzle, you can take these adapters and they fit right in here. Just like so, and you can put your snowboard on there. Okay, so that makes it real nice so you can get a vice and work on both skis and boards. Another product that Demon offers besides the ski vices is this universal vice. Uh, it's mainly for snowboards, really wide platform. It's got a grippy rubber on here to hold on to the board so when you're working on it, it doesn't slide around. And then they just clamp on with a vise, or a clamp, basically. You screw down on the bench, like so. And then you take your board, and it goes on there real nice. Super solid, doesn't move around. All right, another uh, really nice option with this universal vise is you can put the board in sideways to work on the side edge of the board. Uh, you basically unscrew this little clamp knob down here, put it in, cinch it tight, tighten it up, and then you can work on your edge, your board's secure. Great vise to have in the kit. Okay, so with this, you have uh, this kit, you get these rubber bands. And this is used to put your brake up so it's out of the way while you're working on it. And you simply take the brake, compress it, put it on each arm and fold it over the binding, and then your brakes are up and out of the way. Okay, um, with this kit, we get, uh, it's called the Demon Elite Edge Care Kit. Okay, and with this one, you get the Edge Care device. And with this, you can adjust the angle you get on your edge from 85 to 90 degrees, depending on how much edge, side edge bevel you want. And with this, you get the file. This is what you would start with to uh, do the rough edges. And you simply take these uh, different uh, 
diamond stones or a uh, file and, and they go in this device just like this and then you can tighten them down in there so it's actually went the wrong way now ah, there we go it's tightened there and then by adjusting this dial in this little window here you can get the different edge bevels that you want from anywhere from 85 to 90 degree edge bevel um, so some of the other uh, stones or files that you get with this kit is uh, this is a 240 grit, so a really you know coarse grit, and this will you do use this first. Then you go to a grit 500, and this one is it gets a little finer, a little uh, in the in the diamond stone, and then you have a 1000, which is super fine for the last time to, on along the edge, and this is going to just fine tune it down to be really polished. The last thing you would do when when you use this kit and you're doing your edges with all these devices is they give you a gummy stone and with this um, you can polish the edge and have a really nice super fine finish. Okay so first of all I'm going to use the file to get my start of my edge to work on and I like to I like to usually do a it's kind of a standard tune is two degree side bevel so that's going to be 88 on this device in the number and a one degree or half degree base bevel. But we're gonna work on the side bevel with this, with this kit that right here and these tools that come in this kit. So I'm starting with the file. I wanna check uh, in here, this little window, if it's on 88, which it is. And if it wasn't, you can adjust it here to different degrees of side bevel, but we want it on 88. And then you take, you simply take the file, put this, flat on the surface right here and you're going to go up the ski like so and that's I can feel that cutting and you can see there where it's been cutting the side of the, the side wall as well as the edge down so if you go with this kit you want to go through all the processes of each thing to get the best edge so I'm going to go with the core grit 240 next in there tighten that down and then you're going to run that up on your edge, keeping it flat, like so, okay. And I'm going to go to the next one. And that is your 500 grit. Getting a little finer, making that edge a little more polished each time. Making sure you keep it flat on the ski base, this right here, okay. So then we go to the 1000 grit, the really fine diamond stone. These are really high quality diamond stones, by the way, too. I've seen a lot of them and I really like what I'm seeing here. Uh, we have the fine one here. Let's put that in. Again, keeping it flat. Really fine tuning and polishing that edge. Okay, last of all in this process, is the uh, gummy stone and the gummy stone is just going to really like sandpaper or you know that uh, fine sandpaper is going to really polish that edge you want to do it on the top edge and the base edge or the side edge excuse me uh, here is another product that demon united offers for your taking care of your ski and snow skis and snowboards and this is a, a one kit that they send you it's called the brush kit it's the brush kit and with this you get some brushes and uh, you get three of them. So this first brush is, is a brass brush. We'll tell you how it works in a minute. Uh, you get a nylon brush and then you also get a horsehair brush. Um, along with this kit they give you as a bonus, nice, they give you a little edge file you could use and also a nice metal scraper for scraping off P-Tex or what have you on the base of the skier board. Um, so with this brush, that the basically the brass brush, this is the first one you're going to use before waxing. So after you've done tuning the skis, you've done the edges or whatever you're going to do to that, you take this brush and you go down the ski in this type of a motion. And this is just basically going to clean the ski out, the little microscopic grooves, any structure you might have in the base. And this is going to clean it out. Okay, after you wax the ski, then you can go on to waxing. After you wax the ski, you have a nylon brush 
and then you have a horsehair brush. So the nylon brush, you're gonna after you scrape the wax, you're gonna buff it with this nylon brush, and it's kind of gonna polish the wax job. And then horsehair final brush, and this is gonna polish it even more and leave you a nice finish on the base. So Demon United offers uh, a metal scraper in part of their ski tuning accessories and things you can buy. Um, and I've already previously just uh, dripped some P-Tex in some scratches on this ski. And I just wanted to show you how this scraper works. So typically I'm gonna work from, you're gonna always work from tip to tail. And this can just scrape off that P-Tex. You can see that flaking off there. Nice and flush down to the base. And just those scratches disappear. There you go, and that's how the scraper works. You want you can keep that sharp for the file, but it's a nice scraper. It's going to hold an edge for a long time. So this is another product that they carry, and we're going to go through uh, waxing right now and the iron that you can get from Demon. And uh, yeah, so we'll move on. All right, uh, base cleaner. Um, it's kind of a citrus based, so it's going to clean the base, the old wax or dirt or anything like that. Uh, petroleum sometimes gets in your bases from the snow. This is going to clean it out. So you just spray it on the back, on the base. So, I just use a paper towel or you can use a cotton cloth. It's something that's absorbent, but yet you can just clean that base off nice and sweet and then it's going to be clean for your new wax. Okay, Demon offers also some wax products and uh, when you get into wax products that can be a big thing. There's a lot of different waxes out there um, to go with. But I think Demon's got a nice selection here. They offer you a basically a cold range wax. Oh, this is for warm days above 31 degrees snow temperature. And this is for below 31 degrees snow temperature. Um, good, good two to have. That'll cover you in both areas. They also offer a universal uh, wax. They offer a modified hydrocarbon wax which is kind of going to get into your colder snow and it's going to be a little more expensive but I mean it costs a little more because of the hydrocarbon but it creates a great glide. Also for those black bases most black bases have graphite in them and this will give you an extra slick base as well. You can get uh, this Demon Hyper Wax. This is a, a universal temperature wax and you can buy it in a big block. It's awesome last you a long time. All right, so we've taken the universal wax, the white the white wax, and the iron, and you basically just melt it, drip it onto the ski. As soon as it starts getting, this is the first time we've used this iron, so it takes a minute to get it going. So then you just drip it on like so, and then you take the, wa the iron, put the wax down, and you melt it in. And a good uh, way to tell, I think I need to turn this up just a little bit. A little, little on the uh, cool side, it'll work a little better. So uh, once we get that in, as you can see, it's kind of wet right there. You want it to be wet about four or five inches back, and then dry out, and that's you're, you're getting a good melt in. The ski is the base material is porous, and the wax is going to melt right into it. So once you do that, you get that finished. Put the iron back in the holder. This is a great holder. I love it. And let the wax cool. Okay, once it's cooled. You're going to take your plastic scraper and uh, here you have those notches in it right here and you can take that notch thing and clean the edge off nice and smooth. Oh, I like that. That's perfect. And then you want to scrape the wax off. You always want to work pretty much tip to tail. So you're going to scrape that excess, excess wax off. This scraper is nice and sharp. Works great. Once you got that off, then you're going to take um, your different tools. If you have this, a cork, you can take that and you can really rub that wax in and kind of buff it in. And then finally, you can polish it a little bit with this, uh, like a felt cloth on that piece. Also, another way you can buff the ski uh, after you wax it is you have these different, uh, called grill pads. 
And with these, kind of, I like I like this red one. It's a nice consistency, and this is going to buff your ski as well. You just rub that in, and then you got a good good finish on the ski. You ready to go rip? <laughs>